What is up guys, it's your boy Nagwax City here. I know I've been gone for a little while, man, but we back. On today's video, we're gonna be installing some new tail lights and some new reflectors. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy and see you right now. What is up guys, it's your boy Nagwax City here bringing you guys back a brand new video. I know I've been gone for a little while, man, but we back. On today's video, we're gonna be installing some new tail lights, as you guys saw on the thumbnail, and some new reflectors. I hit up Derek and he's free today, so we about to install them. Make sure you guys follow him. You know, Derek be doing all the modifications on the car that I can't do. So he be hooking it up. So if you guys are in Jersey and need somebody to install anything for you guys, just hit him up. I also want to thank you guys for all the love you guys been showing on the videos lately, especially on the last few videos and also on the first video where we dropped Panda. That video is about to hit 10K views right now, which is crazy. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Also, make sure you guys follow Panda 2.0 on Instagram if you guys want to see all the pictures and videos like reels and stuff like that usually i post there first so yeah hope you guys enjoy and see you right now all right guys so this is what it's looking like right now these are the current tail lights. We have blacked this out and the edges around it. So that's why it looks like that. We got the reflectors here. These are the clear reflectors that we're gonna be installing. All right, so what I did, not to get off of it, but it was like this. I pop to make it easier for yourself, just pop the rubber and then try to cram like a plastic uh, tool or something, pop it this way a little bit and then you can pop it back because it has to go this way and then you can pop it out. When, when it's your first time taking it out, it might be hard so don't be afraid to know the direction you're going but pull on it. Uh, and then after that, you take off the two bolts, I haven't taken it off over here, just take them off and then after you take them off, what you have to do is yank the tear light this way because there's a, a tab like that's holding it. You, try, you have to try to like, get underneath it and then there we go. And then those are the two tabs that are holding it. And then all you got to do is take that part off and then take the tail light off. There we go. And then once you take that part off from there, you need a, a pry tool. All you gotta do is try to push one side in and then try to get the other side. Uh, what I did was, it was that little thing. It was like that right there, right? So you get, honestly, you can get anything to push this side in and if your fingers fit, go around it and push the other side in and then it just comes off. Yeah, cause you just gotta clip, um, squeeze this for it to come out. Move the screws. Pop the light. Move it. And then 
up one side and then put your finger to the other side and that's it so you gotta take this bolt the screw off uh take these two off because there's one underneath that but that's if you have the moth flaps yeah so you take one two let's actually oh. You don't gotta take the third one off. Just push it to the side. And then take the last one off. And then there you go. Take a pry tool, plastic. You're gonna scratch your car. And then just dig it in there. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Don't be afraid to pull on it. And you work your way. around okay. will it fall down or not? no I'll hold it it's fine after you do that then the bottom bumper is coming off and then right here you guys can see the the reflector which is this right here you just gotta unscrew it it has like two three bolts I think all right, so what we did was we removed the bumper, or just the like the top portion, not nothing in the bottom. Um, honestly, it's whatever makes it easier for you. I'm good with this, I have enough room. But if you wanna take the whole thing off, make it easier for you guys, then you can also do that. After you do that, uh, just take off three screws. One, two, three. And then it just comes right off. You just pull it right off. And then I know some of you guys will probably want to leave the paper on, take it off when you're done. But it's easier to take it off now because if you put it on, it's probably going to get stuck in there. Like this. Put it back on where it goes. Then it just goes straight in. What do you mean by that? And the bolts, you use the same bolts and everything. Hand tie in it first, or put it in place with your hand first, so you, that it doesn't fall. There's no way to mess up, because if you got the wrong light, like the wrong reflector on, it just means it goes on the other side. And we're done. Now all you gotta do is put the, the bumper back. Doesn't matter which way the cable comes. No, just as long as it comes in through like a hole or something. Don't be afraid to get shit in there. Hey, yo! Make sure that everything is fine. And then just put the bolt back in. Okay. You just gotta screw it back on then, right? Yep. So that's what it looks like right now. So now we just put on the bolts back in. Yeah, you have just put everything back how it was. Anything you did, let's do it in reverse. Now do the reflectors and you can do the lights now. I'll show you how to take this off to do these lights, you have to take this off, tuck a couple bolts, and then pop this piece, not all the way, but just like up to here, so you can pop this piece out and take off these two bolts. You'll see. Before you do anything, 
I recommend taking off the cables first. This is just a twist. You twist it and it pops out. So now what you do is you take an eight millimeter bolt, pop these out. How many are just two? No, it's like four. The other two are inside here. So you see how that's coming out a little bit? Yeah. It's recommended to get something that has like a like a deep hole. And then that way it doesn't get stuck. And there's another one right here. Oh, yeah. Get a pry tool. Now let's get this one. And just start from this corner and just pop it out. Let's take out a couple of bolts. So this thing has bolts mm -hmm. like in the middle. That's way easier. Yeah. So you should do the top ones first, right? Yeah, do the top ones first. Honestly, this is like the easiest part of the whole thing. Uh, just make sure where it goes. Honestly, you don't have to put it all the way. Once you put the bolts, the bolts will bring it down. So <clears throat> let's do that. And then this is where it gets tricky with these two. These are the ones that I'm saying. Like, you see how the holes aren't aligned? Oh yeah. So I messed up because I shouldn't have tightened these. Keep these loose. So keep them a little bit loose so that... Yeah, so you can play with the... With the Do these. So you should do a little bit and then do the other one? Yeah. To make sure it fits. <clears throat> yeah, honestly, do that with all four bolts of the light. Once they're in... You can tighten them? Tighten them one by one. I just push it in. Oh, yeah, and fits way better now. And then that's it. Put the boards back. So you can notice by this black part how when I tighten it, it just keeps coming down and down. So you just let the bolt do the work. This bolt won't need. 
Uh, when it comes to these, uh, this is the reverse light. Reverse light is always the white cable. But you just have to make sure, like, there's a part of it that, that is like the end of this bulb that goes in there. But with this, you have to take off the, the gray piece as well. And then this, you hook into there. Just make sure it's right, like that. And then this goes into here like so that. So everything else just connects. Yeah, and then this cable is where you're connecting to the light that goes down here. And I'll show you that once we, we do it. And again, take that off. So the reverse light is the white cable, the one that just comes with the, the, the Yeah, that's always the reverse light. And then there you go. And then we can get started on the other one. There's a rubber thing right here. You can take that off. That's where, that's where you're gonna feed your, your wire. This is where the wiring gets a little technical. So you feed it through So if you remember, this is our reflector light. This is this is coming from the car. So you put male to female, like that, and then the it, because the reflector brings two, and now you can like the second one male to female, and this is from the light. So, now what you can do is, is where you do the cable management. This you can feed it down to the bumper. You can leave this plastic on, but just make sure it's not caught on the edges. Wait, I forget this rubber piece. If you want, you don't have to put it on, but if you want, you can. And what just, is it? Yeah, this is gonna leave a little like like that. Oh, okay. That's just for uh, water and stuff. And like this. And then I saw it brought uh, another thing for this. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it because it doesn't actually fit. You could use it, but it's gonna be kind of loose. And so then, just use the same ones that you have. Yeah, and then there you go. So, there. Let's do the other one. I'll show you the other one. Reflectors again, male to female, and then male to female, and then don't forget the rubber piece. And then, It looks so nice. So they are different than the original. Yeah. The only thing is that, like I said in the beginning, when you're first taking these off, they're hard to take off. But once you take off the first time, they're they're always gonna be a little loose. You want to explain to them so how you gotta, to actually do it? You got to clip one and two, and then everything also align. So you got to clip one down there, and then two right there. So you do one first right there, and then you got to play with two. Somehow get them in there. What do you mean by that? Go. There's that click, click the bottom. And then, and then there you go. And these are the new ones then, right? Yeah, we put the new ones on. Right. This right. is the only cable that's gonna be like 
pretty much running. Uh, it has to connect, where is it? To this. So you can honestly connect it. And then I'll show you how to cable manage it. Oh yeah, it's not working. Man. Yeah, the reverse, yep. Alright, so we're going back in because the brakes weren't working. So we're about to check the cables. So I guess before you guys actually install everything and finish it, just make sure that the brakes are working. So you got you don't gotta take it back out. Maybe it goes with the other one. Go press on the brake. <laughs> Alright guys, so now it's like basically night time. We've been trying to figure out the stuff with the light and then we found out that the inner right light um one of the cables came crushed. So you wanna explain what she's doing? This red one was crushed. The other one looked crushed, but the nah this one was cut and it wouldn't work. But what we're doing is stripping the plastic part from the cable um, to put it back together. Yeah, basically we're removing the part that was cut. Yeah, and that should solve all the issues. We've literally been trying literally everything. On this all day. Yeah. So yeah, if this happens to anybody, that, that might also be the reason why the fuse went out earlier. Yeah, we're trying to get power and put it. So if that happens, just make sure you guys check all your cables. Because like we said, that this red one for the right inner light, it was crushed. Uh, everything else was good. Like this one was good. The left one was good. The right one was good. So it was just that, this one, the inner right side. So right now we're going to try to put it together to see if it works. Okay, hello. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I just wanna give a huge shout out to Derek and his dad because they came in clutch. We really had the hardest time trying to figure out what was going on. But what we figured out was that the inner part of the tail lights for the right side, one of the cables I'm guessing either came like that or when, maybe when we were putting it in, feeding the cable through, um, the red cable of it, it got crushed. And that's what really messed everything up. So because of that, the fuse for the brake lights went out because the electricity was trying to get to it and it wasn't working properly. So it gave out. Then we put another one in and the same thing happened. So then we were just waiting for Derek's dad. 
because he's the one that mainly knows about that. So we literally tried everything, everything. So the last thing that actually worked was opening the light up and then we saw that it was crushed. So we just put it back together and that's how we figured it out. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Uh, if you guys wanna learn how to do it, there you go. If you guys go through the same issue as me, this is a great example of how to fix it. So now you guys know. But yeah, I'm out of here. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Follow Panda on IG. Make sure you follow Derek. If you guys need any installations or anything, make sure you guys hit him up and he got you. So next time, I'm out of here. Peace.